Hi, this is Katie. I'm being a little quiet because it's nighttime. It's about nine o'clock and I'm going to be doing my new nighttime routine in this video. I know that I've done a couple nighttime routines over the years on my YouTube channel, but I am doing some different things at night nowadays and I'm using some different products and I really wanted to show you guys what I've been doing and what I've been using. So that's what this video is going to be. Please make sure that you're subscribed if you're not already. And without further ado, let's get into my typical nighttime routine. So most of you guys know by now <laughs> that the thing that I've been obsessed with lately is crocheting. I got this beautiful ball of yarn today. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And uh, you guys know that I'm opening up an Etsy store and it's launching in a week, a week from when you see this video, which is PS my birthday. <laughs> I'm launching my Etsy store on my birthday on August 4th. Um, and I'm going to have dish towels and washcloths and baby blankets and doll blankets. And so this is going to be a baby blanket. It's Nowhere near done, but this is gonna be a baby blanket. Uh, look at these like gorgeous colors. I love this type of yarn because it just like naturally gives you stripes. But anyway, so I spend most nights crocheting uh, and watching TV. And right now I'm re-watching The Big Bang Theory. I feel like, let me know in the comments if you like that show because I feel like people either love it or they hate it. And I like it. Um, I think that it's funny. I think it's silly. I like it. So let me know in the comments if you like it. But anyway, um, this is how I spend most of my nights crocheting and watching TV. And as you can maybe see behind me, there's like a ton of new yarn that I just bought. A sneak peek, it's a sneak peek. But I'm really, really excited to launch my store. So this is kind of like the hobby that I picked up. Again, I used to do it when I was younger, but again, what, a month or two ago. Um, and uh, this is what I've mostly been doing at night and it's something that I really enjoyed. Okay, I'm gonna crochet for quite a bit longer, um, but when I brush my teeth and take my makeup off and put pajamas on and stuff, I will let you know. All right, so I just got this new toothbrush and I wanted to tell you guys about it because it's super cool. So it's from this company, Shine, and they're a subscription sonic toothbrush service, which means that you can get all their products online. Their toothbrushes, their whitening toothpaste, whitening strips, and even their flossers. It's only $45 for like the whole unit uh, with like the charging cable and everything, and then only $5 for the replacement brush heads. And what's cool about the Shine Sonic toothbrush is that it uses 31,000 brush strokes. Yep, 31,000 brush strokes per minute. We cannot get 31,000 brush strokes per minute <laughs> just using a manual toothbrush. And it's also super customizable. So there's four different modes, five intensity levels, all on the toothbrush. And then you can also choose between three different brush heads, the whitening, anti-plaque, and gum care. I believe I have the whitening one. So if you guys are in the market for a new toothbrush or you wanna switch from manual to sonic, or if you would really just like to get on a subscription service so you don't have to worry about going to the store and buying them, Shine kindly gave me a coupon code if you guys are interested uh, for 20% off. And so I'll have all the links and everything in my description. And I wanna thank Shine so much for sponsoring this video. Okay, so here are the two cleansers that I've been using recently, kind of just going back and forth in between them. The Derma E Hydrating Gentle Cleanser and then the Andalou Foaming Cleanser. They both, first of all, smell really good. I know that's not a reason to get a cleanser, but they both smell delicious. The Derma E, I have pretty acne prone, but like dry to combo normal skin. And the Derma E cleanser is so good for my skin. I mean, they both are. But the Derma E one, it makes my skin feel clean, but hydrated at the same time. And that's such like a hard thing to find, I feel like. And the Andalou one is really, really good as well. I actually used to use that one years ago. And uh, for this video, I just decided to use both. The Andalou foaming one, it kind of, when I was rewatching the footage, made me think of when you were like young and you would take a bath and you'd put the bubbles on your face. <laughs> that's what that reminds me of. Okay, so now these are some of the skincare products that I've been using recently. Uh, one is from The Ordinary and one is from Volition. I'll have all the links in my description, by the way. Um, but yeah, The Ordinary one is supposed to help acne. And honestly, it, it really does. Um, that's why I'm putting it basically just on the bottom half of my face because that's where I get the most acne. And it has really been helping. I've been using both of these products for several months. The Volition one is more for like evening out your skin tone and stuff, but it's also just hydrating oil so I put that all over my face and my neck don't forget your neck when you're doing your skincare 
And then here's a Suki Skincare Eye Cream. If you guys have a recommendation for your favorite eye cream, let me know in the comments, because I like this one. I've liked a couple, but I don't have a favorite yet. And when you're putting on your eye cream, make sure that you either pat it in under your eyes, or if you're gonna like wipe it on, make sure that you're very, very gentle and use your ring finger if you can, because that's the softest finger that we have. I don't know why, but it is. All right, glasses back on, took my hair down. And this is what I was wearing all day. I just like this white tank top and my unbuttoned jean shorts, you guys. If I'm wearing jeans or jean shorts in the house, they are rarely buttoned. But I'm just putting on some pajamas that I will link if they still are selling them. I got them from Nordstrom, super comfy, comfy, comfy pajamas. Just a tank top and shorts. I like to wear shorts to bed. I get really warm when I sleep. So I'm generally wearing shorts and a tank top or a t-shirt or something like that. And yeah, that's, that's it for the bathroom segment. So that is basically what I do in terms of my skincare and stuff, uh, floss and brush my teeth. I didn't show you flossing, but I did that as well. And then I either wash my face or use makeup wipes. Um, obviously washing your face is better for a lot of reasons, but um, those are some of the face washes that I've been loving lately and some of the face oils that I've been loving lately. And I also usually use this oil. I just happen to not use it tonight, but this is the hydropeptide moisture reset that I got in my FabFitFun box. I really like this as well. And I'm one of those people let me know if you're the same way. I hate when my lips feel dry. And so especially when I go to sleep, I cannot fall asleep without putting some kind of lip balm or something on. And so one of my favorites recently, I think I got this in the spring. I think I've had it for like three months or so. I don't use it every night because I kind of switch off, but I really, really like this Milk Makeup Melatonin Overnight Lip Mask. I just put some on. This, literally, you can still feel it when you wake up. Like that's how like thick and actually moisturizing it is. And I guess there's melatonin in it. I don't really know if that does anything, but it smells like lavender. And I love how thick and moisturizing it is. I also love the Jouer Lip Enhancer. Um, and there's like one or two others that I really like, but I really enjoy this as well. Um, and then just like I don't like when my lips are dry, I don't like when my hands are dry when I'm falling asleep. And so if you guys watched my FabFitFun unboxing from what, like two or three months ago, um, I got a hand cream and a foot cream in my FabFitFun box, uh, but I used them both up already. <laughs> so one other thing that I just happened to have is this uh, Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. I know it looks like it does not say Boom Boom, but that's how it's pronounced. Um, this smells if you guys have not smelled this, you need to. It's summer. It just smells like the beach, but like not like the beach, but like it smells like you at the beach. Like it smells like you have like tanning oil on or something, that kind of like warm scent. Um, this is just body cream. They do have a hand cream. This is just the body cream, so it's not gonna be as moisturizing for your hands, but it's good enough for me um, and it smells really good. And it is quite moisturizing, but you know, hand creams are generally uh, thicker than body creams. Um, but, so I put this on uh, my lips and my hands. Again, let me know in the comments if you guys are the same way. I like, I can't go to sleep if I don't have something on my lips. Um, and then I like putting on hand cream and foot cream and stuff as well. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, I'm getting a couple new face tools, which you guys will see uh, in like a few weeks or so. Um, but for today, obviously I just like use my hands and stuff, but I do have a couple new things coming in the mail and I'm really, really excited to try them. But yeah, I just wanted to give you like my super simplistic nighttime routine. I just take my makeup off, I brush my teeth, I put some, uh, some oils or something on my face and I put my chapstick on and then that's it. There are some nights that I might do more like put a face mask or something on, but this is my pretty basic nighttime routine. Make sure to take your makeup off, guys. You don't sleep with your makeup on. Don't sleep with your makeup on. Even if you just have to use a wipe, which we know are not environmentally friendly, but if that's the only way that you'll get your makeup off that night, it's really not good for your skin to sleep with makeup on. Okay, now it is a little after 11. I generally go to sleep, I mean, anytime between like 11.30 and one, it totally depends on the day. Um, but I like to get in bed and watch a little bit of YouTube before I go to sleep. I know some people say, a lot of people say, you should not look at screens before you go to sleep, but I like to fall asleep to the TV. <laughs> and I don't notice a difference in my sleep uh, when I go to sleep watching TV and when I don't, so. I don't know, but I'm going to get in bed. I'm probably gonna watch some YouTube. Um, I generally like watching makeup videos while I'm going to sleep. Sometimes I'll watch Hulu or Netflix or something too, but Biscuit and Cornbread are going to join me. I feel like they haven't been in a video in a while. Boys, say hi. Say hi to our friends. 
These are my little cuddle bugs. So I'm going to get into bed, cuddle with my boys and watch some YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments any other videos that you guys want to see. I would love to read your suggestions. Uh, but for now, please make sure that you're subscribed and following me on Instagram as well. And that's going to be it. Thanks again for watching and I hope they have a wonderful day. I love you. Jesus loves you. Biscuit and cornbread love you. And we'll talk to you later. Bye. Say bye, boys. Bye. Good night, say good night boys.